All right, ladies and gents. So today I want to do a video that is specifically directed at pulse induction metal detector projects, which is basically what I do. And this is making a damping resistor jig so that you can uh, figure out the appropriate value of your damping resistor as you do your project rather than pulling different size resistors in and out of your circuit you can you can put this in circuit and uh, dial it in using your oscilloscope getting the correct uh, waveform and then disconnecting from the circuit measuring it and then you have your correct damping resistor value so let's go ahead and, and put this together and we'll see what it looks like. All right, I, I'm just going to do a, a really brief e explanation of the jig here instead of getting jumping right into uh, soldering it all together. So let's point the various parts out for those of us who might not be so familiar with with these uh, symbols and, and whatnot. So what we have here is a, a series parallel circuit, right? So these are the two wires that you'll be connecting up to your coil connection. Okay, here we have a 10k potentiometer, a 200 ohm resistor and up here a 2k resistor so the 10k pot and the 200 ohm resistor they're in series with each other okay and the 2k is in parallel with those so you can see down here that this is going to give us approximately 118 ohms up to 1672 ohms as we um, adjust the potentiometer. And I'll, I'll explain that math later. It's, it's, it's really simple. So now let's look at the uh, two different styles of pots that you can use. Here's the style of pot that I'm going to use and some people are, are confused when they uh, get this style. It's a, a, a multi-turn pot. It's, it's quite accurate as opposed to a, a single turn, which I'll show you next. The only thing that seems to be a little bit, have a little bit of confusion here is that a lot of people think that the uh, terminals are 1, 2, and 3. Well, they're actually not. The first one, I think you can see I've marked here, the first one is two, second one is one, and the third is three. That causes a little bit of confusion sometimes. And uh, this is a, a 10K Borns pot. Let's take a look at, maybe people might be more familiar with this style. This is a single turn pot, and the terminals are one, two, and three. That's, that's pretty standard. But like I said, this one here is more accurate, and that's what we're going to use. The only other things we're going to use as part of the, this little project are these two resistors. This is a, a 2K ohm and here's a 200 ohm these happen to be one watt values each I, I suppose you can use quarter watt values if you want to um, th this is not by any means a, a, a permanent piece of the circuit okay Th this is just temporary in order to find out the best value for your damping resistor and I like to use um, silicone wire and this happens to be 
20 gauge you, you can use whatever gauge you have all right guys here's the completed uh, jig and yes before any of you attempt to tell me that I didn't need to join terminals 2 and 3 I know that I it's a a uh, divider circuit so I, I could have done away with terminal 3 but in order to better represent what's drawn here in the circuit diagram that's why I did that so it, it's pretty easy um, all you have to do is replicate this into this configuration this is the uh, 200 ohm resistor this one's the 2k you see they're in parallel with each other and let's uh, look at it on the multimeter and I'll show you the range it's not exact to um, a low point of 118 but it's it's pretty close and the uh, the top of it around 1600 it's good for me let's take a look okay here's the low point um, I'm on a, a, a 2k setting so I've got 199 ohms and let's advance it we'll go the full range of the multi-turn pot and this is a, a 10 turn pot and there's the top range that's pretty darn close so I was going to go through the math on this I, I don't think that's necessary if you're really interested you can Google is our friend alright so that's the video for today the jig for uh, figuring out a damping resistor